team that uh, a lot of people when they sent up to the games were saying this could be a pretty young squad so we might not win as much as 23 well surpassing 17 is a big feat for this very young squad people are saying why why weren't jo, why aren't joe and uh, Zheng swimming a few more events right so um you know obviously the swimming association co the coaches gary stefan um they obviously have a lot of faith in the new generation coming up and again no better place i mean they have to start somewhere better that they start at the sea games level and get them prepared for next year's asian games and we've said it so many times before already how joe has alluded to the fact that it was here that he started to, to learn how to win and compete and uh, learn to soak in the cheers from the crowd whether it's for him or against him learn to either shut it out or use it in his swims which led to the olympic gold medals and he said it right after winning that gold medal at the press conference so it certainly was a signal for more youngsters to be blooded at the sea games ladies and gentlemen Well, they started very well as we expected them to Malaysia all because of uh, the man standing to the left of your screen the first one to have that middle round is Nick Wilson sim still has remember that 1500 meters freestyle event and I think he will be involved as well in the 4x100 meters medley race because he is far Malaysia's fastest swimmer this year in the 100 meters freestyle that's quite amazing to be the fastest swimmer from the 100 to the 2005. And as you were saying, Gerald, totally agree with you. It's a sad state, isn't it, that food poisoning has taken Daniel Bago out of the squad because we would love to have seen Bago taking at least one final bow at the SEA Games in front of his home fans. It is. Um, you know, I think he may have stated that this could be his final SEA Games, right? Um, you know, I, I think they would have given um, Vietnam and Singapore a fight um, if he had been taken place and taken part in this relay. So it's been such a pity. Um, we were wondering what happened to him at the 20 meter freestyle event yesterday as well, where he had pulled out, pulled out after swimming the heats. So, um, you know, I feel really bad for him. He's obviously trained, you know, an additional two years um, when he contemplated retiring after the last SEA Games. So uh, my heart goes out to him. Well, the Malaysians were second for three legs and Vietnam caught up led by that man who is uh, their swimmer with the most number of gold medals in terms of male swimming Wang Ki Phuoc this time getting Vietnam's first ever relay medal in this event and their first ever relay medal since 1969 so there's quite a special moment for the vietnamese quartet ki Phuc also won a silver remember to joe schooling in the 100 meters freestyle as we say a big congratulations and wrap up the night before the quartet to receive their medals and the national anthem big congratulations to samantha here for breaking those two Hello. national records Zheng Wen and Joe Schooling winning goals in their event. Wen Tian Vien with another couple of gold medals for Vietnam as expected. And uh, the final race of the night uh, belonging to these four boys. Their third gold medal in a row as a team. Danny Yo started it off. Kwa Tung Wen carried on the momentum. Hang Sheng Jun who earlier won a silver medal in the 200 meters individual medley. Extended the lead and Joe Schooling showing that uh, he's never too rusty even though he hasn't swum in the 200 meters freestyle for ages he will still be able to be there to give you swims for the ages good night for our team singapore in day three of competition or day four of competition i should say four three gold medals for the night it's now 14 gold medals overall with two nights remaining from swimming at the 29th Southeast Asian Games.
Singapore.